Howdy folks, this is my little one axis camera stabilization gimbal uh, for a 808 number 16 keychain camera. This was uh, inspired by my good YouTube buddy Jeff Yang, otherwise known as 7 Demo 7, um, and he did a review of a one axis gimbal from Hobby King, maybe I think it was, I'm not too sure. Anyway, he, he thought it would be easy enough for me to build one and he was right so thanks Jeff uh, and I'll put a link to Jeff's channel in the notes great channel worth subscribing to he does some great stuff so we have an 808 number 16 camera connected to a Metal Gear digital servo that's a Corona of some sort can't read it and a NAS32 flight control board the base is PVC plastic, just heat, heated up and bent into shape, about 2mm thick, about 6 inches long, an uh, inch and a bit wide. The key to this uh, simplicity is this little bracket at the front here. Now it's high enough so that the camera won't uh, clash with the base when it's rotating full around. has a hole, I think it's about an 8mm hole drilled in the front. Uh, to act as the pivot which is just bigger than the diameter of the lens so it doesn't wobble around too much but holds it steady. The rear of the camera is just directly uh, linked to the servo. Little, another little piece of PVC plastic that grips the back uh, and there's a little 9 gram servo drill, uh, sorry, screw going through the back there. The Servo is mounted up on some soft foam using double-sided tape just to get the angle of the camera correct. The NAS32 board is double-sided tape onto the PVC plastic. I have the servo plugged into servo zero position, which is usually for pitch control. Uh, roll control is servo one, which is the second pin set. But I actually have the board rotated 90 degrees so I can still get access to the uh, configuration port. To configure the NAS32 board for use as a gimbal uh, I followed uh, Painless360's video on YouTube uh, which is another essential viewing channel so I'll put a link in the notes for that. So we just plug it in to the computer. Pat the cat, hello, say hello Stormy. He likes a bit of RC. So now we're connected we go to clean flight push connect and in configuration we choose gimbal as the mixer it'll be set on quad to start off with but go to gimbal and then scroll down to other features and turn on servo tilt and then save and reboot now we go down to modes scroll down to cam stab and just make that range full width and that will uh, make sure the camera is in stabilization mode all the time which is the way I want it down to servos and now you adjust the direction and rate of well I've got mine connected into servo zero I had to uh, drop it down to about minus 40 to get it rotating in the right direction and the right range you can also adjust the uh, the starting level as well by adjusting that midpoint. Save again and you should be good to go. So disconnect. Now that that's configured I can disconnect from the computer, uh, plug in 5 volts in one other of the servo positions. 5 volts not 12 volts. You will blow the board if you put 12 volts in there. Now if I turn it on and let it stabilise, there we go, quick beeps, and that should be ready to, ready to roll, there we go, nice and stabilised.